Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Angel Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Senegal. Pan-African mayor renamed streets named after French colonial officers to Chari 44 victims. Osman Sonko, a young Pan-African politician and recently elected mayor, a region in southern Senegal is viewed by many as a hope for new Africa. Barely a month after his victory, Sonko has done something that three Senegalese president failed to do since independence. The Pan-African politician has boldly renamed avenues named after French military officers who contributed to the massacre of African commandos who helped rescue France from the German tribal forces in 1944. The remaining of the streets more than six years after independence is an offense to our national dignity, Sonko stated. Well done, Sonko. We're so proud of you. And this guy just got elected. Just imagine the, the moves that he is making. And he's new. He's fairly new for the job. And he, he gives us hope, right? Like seeing this, I know we complain about our leaders. I know we complain about the things they do sometimes. But when there are leaders in position that are actually for the people, for African people, as well as the diaspora, because he considers himself as a Pan-African, we, we should really celebrate them and actually talk about them. So this guy went into power and quickly started changing the colonial names that were given to the streets. Like, just envision this. The streets were being named up until now by those traitors that were involved in the massacre of the locals, of the people of Senegal. So it's only fair that we, you know, give him the applause that he deserves as well as talk about it because it's a step forward. You know, some people say, why, sh why should this be celebrated? Like, come on, think about this. You are still giving that person power over you and over your nation. Like that street was named after a person that massacred people, your own people. So obviously I think that is going to impact you psychologically, even if you think it doesn't, because when somebody names something, especially name it after themselves, it's, it's like they're saying they own it. It's a sign of ownership. So them changing that name, I think is a good thing, is a great thing. Well done, Sonko. And I hope he continues um, on with a good job, not just changing names. Now he can actually, you know, push Pan-African agenda so that we can all come together and create the better future that we keep talking about for the next generation. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.